Alright guys, we're going to go for a quick walk. I just finished up my workout at the gym, which is right there. The HQ is right here. I'm just going to walk across the street. And mainly so I can talk. Uh, during the workout, I really got to thinking. And I want to share a secret with you guys. Okay. The secret I want to share with you guys, it applies to life in general. It applies to business. It applies to relationships, family, girlfriends, uh, income, making money. It, it, this this little tip I'm gonna give you applies to so so much and to some people that are watching this you may be like well that's a very obvious tip but even though it may be something obvious I see this literally every single day you know from people that are reaching out to meetings that I have scheduled to employees to friends that are trying to do these things and build these businesses and you know make names for themselves and everything and this I'm gonna give you a metaphor really quickly we're gonna say I'm a tree, right? You as a person, you're watching this video, you're a tree, and you have branches, okay? All these branches are the things that you're trying to, to, to balance in your life. There's uh, there's this, there's that, there's a girlfriend, there's uh, my nine to five, there's this job that, uh, or this business venture I'm trying to go for, this thing I'm trying to do, and then I'm getting distracted doing that because I'm trying to do this over here and this over here, and you have a lot going on, right? And you're trying to balance it all. Now. The secret is to trim your branches. You need to focus in on a few things, guys. Focus in on the things that you really want to improve on. You can't, if you try to do too much, you're gonna notice that you get stuck. You're not making progress in any of these places that you're trying to make progress in because you're trying to do too much, you're getting distracted, too much is on your plate and it's hard to focus on the main goal. So many times I run into people that are extremely ambitious, extremely ambitious. They've got plans, they've got these big goals that they want to hit and there's, you know, it's easy to talk up this big game and to say, all right, we're going to be in 50 different locations if you're a business, we're going to have this app, it's going to have, you know, 100,000 users within, within weeks and everything and it, it so many things get proposed to me guys on a daily basis in theory all that sounds great but what a lot of people don't do is you almost have to simplify the equation if the equation is this business and you've got so you know all these plans and you see you can, you can sit down there and you can see the future you can see what you want you can envision what you want that's a great starting point but you have to simplify the equation and find out what do you actually have to do first you need to be sure that you are giving your primary goals, your primary and secondary goals, those that the tree, all the branches, you need to trim the branches onto into the good branches, the ones that you want to stay. You need to focus on those and be sure you're not spreading yourself too thin. Be sure you're not trying to take on too many projects at once so you can't focus on the main project that you have because you're just trying to do too much and you're getting lost and you're unorganized and you don't have good time management because you're trying to do too much. You can have a very, very good work ethic. You can have an amazing work ethic. You can be ambitious. You can pursue these goals, but if you're not focusing in on certain tasks, like step at a time, one at a time, take things slow and be realistic with yourself you're never gonna reach those big goals it's just frustrating to see so much potential and then so many people fail and get complacent because and they don't realize they're getting complacent they think they're trying to do more and more and more but in reality you're not really moving because you're trying to do too much and I hope that makes sense to you guys but again my secret my tip trim your branches focus in on the things you want to focus on give those things attention feed that hunger feed that feed those branches nurture them and you're gonna see everything just succeed. And that's how you become successful then. Once you do those steps, the steps get bigger and bigger and bigger, jumping, you're taking huge steps. And then you're in this spot where it just doesn't stop. It never stops. It's constantly moving forward because you're constantly pushing yourself because that's the ambitious mentality that you have. It's just you have to, you can be ambitious, but you have to realize you have to start. You have to start, start slow, and then things will grow, so. Here we go. I'm trying to think of myself as 15, 16, 17 year old Christian Guzman. High school, very skinny, I just started working out. What motivated me when I was 16? What, made, what motivated you when you were 16? For me, I wanted to get a six pack, I wanted to get my arms bigger, my chest bigger, I wanted to look better so I can get attention from girls that, that didn't pay attention to me. I wanted to kind of break out of my shyness and I felt like getting in the gym, I was feeling more and more confident. And I, like, I loved cars at the time. I, my dream car growing up was a Nissan 350Z. And from there, like 
I like the superhero movies. I was like, oh my God, look at Iron Man. He's got like an R8. Like that's goals. Like that is motivation. That'll get me going. I want to work hard so I can have those things. And I, I want to be able to have this house and have this car and have this physique and everything. And there's nothing wrong with that. If, if that stuff gets you fired up, then great. If that can get you going and working towards a goal and that can motivate you to put in work and to start working towards something, then fine. But what you have to understand is these things over here, these tangible things, this house, this car, these Louis Vuitton shoes, these, this Mercedes, whatever it is, that is not going to bring you fulfillment. That will not bring you happiness. In the end, it doesn't matter. There's a certain point. Money, it does not, it does not bring you happiness, guys. Let me tell you. And it's not, I'm not trying to be like, oh, well, if you have no one to share it with, no, that time's going to come. You have to find fulfillment in yourself. You have to find out what do you do for yourself that makes you happy? What do you personally do for yourself that brings you joy and fulfillment? I've been lucky enough to figure that out. Producing content, being able to help you guys. And majority of my viewers probably don't see many benefits other than maybe killing 10 minutes and watching a video. But there are people that come up to me that a lot, a lot, a lot of people that tell me their stories and this inspiration and how I helped them through this part of their life and this part. And like that makes me feel good. Being able to help my family out, being able to financially help if they need it, like I can do that. Being able to get my dad a car because he had wanted one for like two years and could never get around to it. And it's not the car, it's the fact that that can happen. It's the fact that I'm, I, I'm in a position now where I can do that. And the problem is that there are not enough doers. There are so many people that kind of look at this, you know, going back to the 16 year old, right? There's so many people that look at this motivation, they look at the car, they look at these motivational quotes, these motivational videos, they watch videos on YouTube all the time, they look at people doing what they want to do, and they, they can respect it. They, man, you know, one day I'm gonna do that, one day I'm gonna do that. But you know what? If you don't take any action, if you don't start doing, I don't know what else to tell you guys. You can watch as many videos as you want, you can listen to all the speeches, read all the quotes, you can look at you can look at all this motivation that you want, but until you start acting and acting and working and working and working for your own life, for your own self, that's when you start seeing the success. Once you see that, once you see that growth and that motivation gets you fired up, that whole process of you falling in love with what you're doing, then you reach fulfillment. That's how you can find your fulfillment. That's what, that's what you that's when you find it. But too many people you can't get out of that motivated phase. Find your motivation, get started, start doing. Once you start doing, everything starts rolling, everything starts coming. And then you're in a position where you can help others. You can share your knowledge, you can share your experience, you can share what's worked for you, what hasn't worked for you. You can share your, just help people. And it drives me insane just having people say, you know what? A Ferrari is not motivation. No, it's not. It's not. That is not the end goal. That's not fulfillment. If I die tomorrow with a fucking Ferrari, who, who cares? Like, that doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. <laughs> Start doing. Get, get motivation. No one's going to hold you accountable but yourself. Have your own back in this world. So. I get asked all the time, and some of you guys may just want to turn this off because I sound like a broken record. I sound kind of cliche, but how do you how do you do what you do, man? How do you how do you become successful? How do you? How, and, the answer is so simple. It's so freaking simple, but I still get asked every single day. And if you take three things, you take your work ethic, your desire to become better. That, that includes the willingness to be able to take criticism, take positive and negative, negative criticism and take that away, become better, better yourself and become better at your craft. So work ethic, the ability to be open-minded and consistency, <clears throat> if you combine those three things, guys, you will eventually be successful. A lot of you guys are like, oh, you, you just got, man, you're just kidding, you got lucky, like, uh, you know, all these people that do well in life just get lucky, right? And not everyone can do it. You're just in this unique position to be able to do that because of X reason, X reason, X reason. And it's absolute bullshit, guys. Excuse my language, but it's absolute 
bullshit. I'm gonna use YouTube as an example, but just keep in mind as I'm talking, this can be this can be anything in your life. This can be college, or this can be being the best engineer and getting a great job, or this can be being a musician, or whatever that, being a, the doctor, whatever your goal is, right? And you feel like you're not quite making, you're not gonna be the best out there. I'm gonna use YouTube as an example, but I've been doing YouTube for almost five years. Since March 2012, I've been doing YouTube. And I had a chart that I found on my analytics from the, from the day I started my channel until today. And guys, the first two and a half years, it's a chart of growth, right? The first two and a half years, my line was like this. It came up like that much, like, like this, like that. And that is the time, that, that beginning phase when there's no traction, there's no momentum, there's, there's nothing pushing you forward, that is when everybody quits. That's when the 99 percentile quits at what they're doing because they don't see the immediate response. They do not see the progress. They think, oh, I'm going to fail because it's not hitting off, oh, whatever, screw it. Uh, maybe I was doing three videos a week in, in the YouTube scenario, maybe in a different scenario. Maybe I was, you know, I was studying a ton, now I'm going to start studying less, it's just not worth it. I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to be good like those other people that are, you know, blowing up. And it's so easy to say that even for me, guys, you look at athletes like, like TJ, he's had his channel like a year and a half, two years, he's already at half a million subscribers. You look at these people gaining 50,000 subs a month, 100,000, even way more than that. And it's easy to get demotivated when you compare yourself to people. But looking at my chart, two and a half years, I had this amount of growth. The following two years have just, the chart literally starts here, year one, year two, year three, year four, year four and a half. And it's like, there's so much momentum now. But that momentum is not given, it's earned. And yes, you may, sh you may get a little bit lucky, you may you know, have a stroke of luck here and there, but if you're not consistent throughout those slow times, if something lucky does happen, you'll never know if something's gonna happen unless you're staying consistent and continually doing this. Do not give up, do not get demotivated, you're not seeing immediate progress. And that is the number one thing. And just consistency is the one word that I wish I could just like engrave in your mind, guys. Like I said, not just with YouTube, but with studying for your exams, with, with, with practicing your instrument, with doing things that you say you're gonna do, you just do them consistently. You follow through with what you say you're gonna do, no matter what comes up, no matter what excuse comes up, how you're feeling, how your mom's sick, how you got sick, how you're, you're just kinda lazy today, and there's so many excuses you can always, always say, but just stick with what you're gonna do and what you say you're gonna do. Oh, well, I'm you know I'm 18. I'm gonna go to school for four years. Then I'm gonna do this. Then I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna start start, start like working towards opening this gym, right? Start op start working on that now. Like, why are you gonna like you're shut by saying that by telling me that you're telling us you're telling me that for the next seven eight years I'm shutting my mind off from doing what I want to do so I can get these steps knocked out according to the book, right? And following the book, following the book. Then I'm gonna start working. Start working now. Save that time. Start. It just frustrates me from, from uh, okay. Say, okay. Start now. No excuses. Your age doesn't matter. Gather experience along the way. It's great to be book smart. It's it's amazing to know the theory behind everything, the theory behind business and and you know just all the numbers. It's great to know the numbers. In the detail, what you, what you think are the details, but real life situations, real life experience, in my opinion, outweighs any textbook out there, guys. So get out in the real world and start doing. Start doing. Start acting, okay? And if you start acting and stay consistent and you have a passion, if you combine those things, you will be successful. Monetarily, you'll feel fulfilled. You'll be happy, truly happy, if you're really doing what you're passionate about. So on that note, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I know there wasn't any workout footage, but I hope you guys enjoyed this little talk in the video. Give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.